everyone. Welcome back. More Super Auto Pets. Will we finally get a Llama win today? Uh, I doubt it. <laughs> I like both of these. This will both this turn and next turn. So I'm going to buy the Bluebird now. He does have one less HP, one more attack. Maybe it'll come out okay. Okay, and we're going to go for the, the Wishy Washy Piggies. Please, please give me all the luck. I need the luck today. Please, <laughs> I beg. So we're going to do the whole... Oh, well, that's not good. That's not good. Yeah, we lose the first round because they had a double buffed duck, which I'm jealous of. Um, okay, let's buy this now. I'm thinking about the Marmoset, but I'm going to try and avoid it for a second. Here we go. So obviously, I don't want to merge these yet. I want to save these until we get... Oh, okay, they're all buffing this guy. Uh, I want to save merging these until we get to tier 3 because when you merge... A pet at whatever tier you're at. So when you get like a level two pet at whatever tier you're at in the shop, uh, a pet from the higher tier will appear in your shop, right? So if we're tier three and I'm getting some level two pets on my team, we will see some tier four pets turn up in our store. If we were to do it now, for example, uh, we would have a tier four pet in our store. But I'm not going to do that now. I'm just going to get these guys ready. Um, so we. Potentially could get free level twos. I'm gonna buy the meat bone for the otter. We likely will keep. Oh, there's another otter. Okay, so we can buy this otter and put them on there. Even though it's really bad, I know I should be buying them because the otter's ability is a buy ability. So he only buffs another pet when he gets bought. If I was to put it on this guy, he'd give plus two, plus two. I oh, know he'd give plus one, plus one, two, two of a pets, right? Um, instead of one pet. I can't do that yet. So maybe I just freeze it for a little bit and wait. Uh, let's get some of them. Yeah, let's try and let's do that. Actually, let's freeze him for now. I don't want to do it. I'd rather him be level two. I don't know. Maybe that's not worth the whole freezing thing, you know. <laughs> Maybe it's not. It's a pretty weak team, but hopefully we can get through this. Oh, that's upsetting. We'd have done really well there if that guy didn't have meat bone. Okay, so we lose that one. How many lives are we on? Okay, we're only on seven lives. It's not too bad. This is where we start to scale, hopefully. Are you ready? Level 2 Otter gives us, it's given us a llama really early on. Okay. Now, if we sell the duck, it's going to give shop pets plus one health. So, I'm going to sell the duck. Diva's going to go to the front. We are then going to purchase our friend, the llama. Okay. Now, obviously, um, one of the issues we've got here is that the llama actually. Oh, wait. We can still reroll. So we can't get another llama until like uh we hit tier four okay uh so yeah um oh, it's early though it is an early llama we can hope here we can hope we need to get a good team around it we need to get rid of the beaver early and the bluebird early all that kind of stuff we need to not stick with the same pets okay this guy's got some melon armor are we strong enough to kill the oh i think we can okay, we get a draw here i can live with a draw a draw keeps us in the game, which is kind of all I need. Uh, okay, level... Let's get the... Actually, let's buy the beaver first. I was hoping for a llama then. I do like the hawk. It's going to hit some people. I would like to get rid of this guy, to be honest. But he's 8 and 5, so I'm actually going to leave him for right now. Instead, I'm going to buy an otter. who buffs the llama. Very nice. I'm going to re-roll. We don't see anything too good, so I'm going to give a cookie to the beaver. Okay. 8 and 12. If we can get a meat bone on the llama, he can take... The front spot although i have been thinking after yesterday's video with the scorpions i think we need to get two pets right one that's like a front line that isn't a massive front line and one that's like a, a real front line but in, in second place because the scorpion thing with the llama really annoys me like a hippo is going to be better than this guy right you know and this guy's going to give two health to random friends please be the llama it is okay nice we are going to get the hippo hippo is going to take the first spot for now we're going to get a level three otter i do kind of like this guy as well but i don't think it's worth it is it even worth getting another bluebird he's i've only just realized he's only level one so we should get rid of him like soon we'll freeze the hippo obviously um i'm not going to freeze the hawk i don't know who i want to replace the bluebird also the otter needs to go now because the otter's level three the otter has no purpose anymore um because the otter's ability is a buy ability. We can't really buy anymore. We could put some in the fourth position. But basically, it's not worth keeping. Because you can't level up anymore. It's it's weak anyway. At best. There's a B. Okay, nice. That's nice. I can live with that. Let's go. That's free trophies. Okay. 
Hippo is going to get acquired. What do I want to go instead? What do I, what do I want to put there instead of there? Oh, we have to buy another one. I wanted him to buff the llama. Oh, no. You're not doing this to me now. I was going to sell this guy and then... You know, I actually still will do that for now. Even though it's way more valuable to buy a pair. I'm such an idiot. Oh, okay, I'm not buying any more of those. We need to get a pet there that we want. We need to get rid of these two so bad. I hate being bad at this game. So the reason the hippos at the front are not the llama is purely because of the fact that if we come across a scorpion, I will cry. Oh, okay. Good work from the hippo there, actually. This guy's got a meat bone. Okay. Nice. He's got a bee, but we kill it again. Okay. That's four trophies. Right, so you need to replace these pets. Here we go. Let's buy a llama. Do I do a scorpion thing? I really could do a scorpion thing here because if there's a scorpion at the front for them. <gasps> Hang on. First of all, there's a crow. Here's what I'm going to do, actually. I'm going to I'm gonna do this. Forget the scorpion for now. Right, that's not even going to give me enough money to buy the chocolate bar. Will we get a level two llama anyway? I'm not buying that, but I'll buy another crow. Oh my god, I could actually get a level two bluebird. It's not worth it. Although we could do it and then find like a level, like a tier six in the shop. I still don't think it's worth it. Okay, so it's level two llama next turn. That's good. This guy's got a score. Look at the scorpion positioning. Look. Who puts a scorpion there? Literally nobody. They only do it whenever I buy a llama. It's infuriating. They only, this only ever happens when I buy a llama and go down to four pets. Right, let's get a second llama. Ah, here we go. This changes everything. I want the hippo. The blue bird. Actually, the otter's going to go first because he's got no purpose here. The snake is going to go behind him. Now, you're probably thinking, oh, who's going to get leveled up? I think it should be this guy. So I'm going to use that. I'm going to keep this guy frozen. Just need a tiger now to replace the bluebird. Obviously, this guy hasn't got a meat bone, which is another problem. But any more scorpions in second place that we're going to fight today? Any more? No, just an absolutely wham salamander instead. And they've lowered our health. Brilliant. Okay. Oh, there's a bus here that's going to, yep, yeah, kill. Yeah, okay. I see I see where this is going, everyone. We're on one life. There's a turkey. Not really going to work here. The lemon. Probably put, should put the lemon on you. Okay, let's get a level two snake at least. And then all we need to find now is a tiger. There's a chocolate bar. There's a llama. I will buy the llama, but I think it's way more valuable right now to get a tiger. But we just need to find the tiger. The tiger will repeat the snake's ability. Or will make the snake repeat the ability. The hippo does need to be buffed. You're absolutely right. Hippo might need to be replaced soon. If I had melon armor on... Oh, this guy turns into a... Yeah, we've lost. That scorpion round, I think, really tilted me and messed me up. But it's fine. It's the first run of the day. What do I do here? Do I just buff... I guess I literally just do this. I can't really say no to this build, can I? Oh, I'd, if there had been more bluebirds and otters, then that would have been such a good store. Okay. Um, the proper... Proper teapots? Sure, yeah. I don't know. I've been struggling with the names on this a bit recently. I feel like I'm not getting many good ones. This, is, this guy's got the clumsy doggies. Okay, we'll take a draw there to start. I'm always happy with a draw because it just means I get to stay in the game longer. I feel like I should be purchasing some of these, so I will. Okay, Otter. Buffs our bluebird friend once again. Okay. Nice. Yes. What a perfect little team we got going on here. Uh, okay, nice. We're going to kill there. Ducky's going to get a moth buff, though. It's going to be enough to kill. Yeah, okay. Okay. Otter, yeah, nice. We, have we got enough to kill the bee? We have got enough to kill the bee. With a whole duck left. Look at him with his little hat on. That's a good trophy to get right there. Okay, now, you see, we can start to merge. I don't want to merge these. So I'm going to merge the ducks together, that's for sure. And I am actually going to put an elephant at the back. Oh, I'm going to freeze the duck. Because, obviously, it's tier 5. I can merge those. Let's merge those. Let's buy another duck. And let's give a cupcake to this guy. So once again, we're going to wait until we hit tier 3 pets in the store. And then upgrade everyone to level 2 if we can. And then that's when you find the early level 4s like a llama. Although last time it didn't work out too well. But I feel like I just need to get positioning right. Maybe I do just move the llama to the back and just let him like... You know, just wait, I guess. But is that really a viable strategy? I don't think it is. Okay, we'll get another elephant. 
I can't merge uh, anyone, so I will instead actually buy a meat bone for you because you're going to be sticking around for a while, I imagine. Frozen bluebird, ready for level two next turn. We got a level two duck next turn. Hopefully, we can find an otter or an elephant for level two otter or elephant next turn. Okay, the alleged bludgers. Uh oh, that's a really big mosquito. That's going to kill how many of our pets? Oh, he's got a hatching chick, dude. Move over. Okay, we lose early there. We lose early. That's two lives, I think it is. We're down to eight. Okay. Level two bluebird. We get a skunk. Level two duck. This is not what I was going for. I don't want the rooster today. We did the rooster the other day. Uh, there's also nothing good here. There's an elephant we can get level two off of. There's another bluebird. I probably should move the otter to the front just because the otter's the one with the meat bone. I think this might be a bit of a dead run, to be honest. I think we might have struggled here. Oh, it's a hedgehog build. He's got a pineapple. Guess what? He kills our entire team. Like, he actually kills our entire team. And his entire team. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> what did it never be? <laughs> okay, level two elephant. Here we go, everyone. We get the llama. Right, who's going to go? Ah, oh, dude. I think we get rid of the otter really early here. We put the llama on the board, right? Because when we sell... Oh, no. We should sell the duck because the duck gives the the shop pets health. Oh, no. Um, I'm actually going to sell the skunk. I need to remove one pet so we can actually have like enough... You know, only four pets to buff the llama. This is a real stinker, I think. This is... This is real bad. Look at this team synergy we got going on. A duck, a bluebird, a llama, and an elephant. Elefante. Okay, bluebird dies straight away. Duck dies straight away. Llama will die relatively soon. Here we go. He dies now. Elephant dies. I need to start doing hedgehogs and mosquitoes and stuff, bro. Okay, guess what? We need you in town. So, um, you will give shop pets plus two HP. Honestly, get rid of the elephant first. I don't really care for him. This is the strategy that I'm going for now. Uh, he's going to have a meat bone. He's going to have a hatching chick behind him. There's a hawk. I do prefer the hawk over the duck. Let's sell the duck. Let's buy a hawk. We are now looking for a pineapple, which we do not get straight away. Okay. There's a hedgehog. Going to avoid it. Do kind of like the hippo, but I'm going to keep the bluebird for now. There's our second llama. I'm going to take both of those. Actually, we discovered that it's really not viable to buy an otter as soon as you can buy a pair, because pair is better stats than buying an otter. Uh... <laughs> So, we can still an otter back for one, but it's really not worth it. Okay, we died. Yeah, nice. Yep. Yeah. I'm really enjoying today. I'm actually having like a, just a bad day, and this has just made it way worse. Uh, we, we will still get a win, I promise, but we are down to two lives, so one loss, and we are in fact out here. We're going to buy the crow, and then we're going to sell the crow, purely so we can just get this guy to level two. Okay, and then I do kind of like the crocodile, and I'm thinking about it, and I'm thinking about it, and I'm going to do it. We're going to try to snipe some people with it. Uh, I'm going to unfreeze you. There's a level 2 llama. There's a pair. I probably should take a B as well because, you know, they always come in clutch, right? Okay, so we've got a massive llama. But my issue here is scorpions are going to be involved. So my plan is to actually move the llama back and put the hawk at the front. Um, my reason for this is because I can guarantee you there will be a scorpion wherever we go. Uh, do I want to upgrade? I feel like I don't want to upgrade this guy to permanently buff him, but at the same time I do. Let's just give him all the stuff he needs right now to be buffed. Okay, I do like both of these, so I will freeze both of you. There's another llama. Okay, we can get a level 3 llama next turn, which will help with the scaling significantly, but I haven't moved him backwards. There's nowhere I can move him, though. We just need to hope that we don't come across a scorpion. Every time I say it, bro, it only happens when you buy a llama. I swear to God. Okay, well, here's what's going to happen. If we get a llama again, it is sitting at the very back, the very back of the, uh, the very back of whatever, you know, it's sitting there and it's staying there. I'm not, I've never put an llama on front row again. In fact, when we put it on second row, it still died because somebody put a scorpion in second row. So I'm going to put a llama literally at the back and just see what happens. Probably going to get killed by crocodiles, but I'm so sad. Name your team. The Gnarly Bones. Yeah, Makes, it sounds the best, I think. Okay, we just had a good start. I need to untilt here. We're 15 minutes in and I'm, well, I've had a really angry day. <laughs> this is making me angrier, but it's cool. 
because it does let me happy at the same time, but it's hard to oh, it's hard to like stop being angry. That's gonna sound really stupid. I'm fully aware of that, but I find it really hard to stop being angry. Even when you're having fun, like it's it's gonna sit in the back of your head until it's like resolved or until you know, I don't know. So it makes it better, I guess. But until something replaces it, maybe something a lot more happier and smiley. This guy's gonna kill the duck because he gets two moth upgrades. Okay, this is looking like a draw. I can live with this. I want to get a pineapple on the mosquito as soon as we can. Okay, let's get you on the otter. Let's re-roll. Let's buy a duck ready for... In fact, no, let's buy a bluebird one of these. We'll freeze that one. We'll freeze the ducks. So we can get, well, close to a level two duck. Now we can get a level two duck. Obviously, don't want to buy both next turn because we want to wait until we have tier three pets in the store so we can get a tier four pet hopefully I, I really want to get a llama win and i know i'm doing it wrong and someone actually let me know in the comments how i should do it and i've just forgotten it okay well this isn't looking too promising right now because we have a lot of uh one hp pets the bluebirds so that one is going to be another loss which takes us down to seven lives so we need to turn it around starting here really but the issue with that is we can't turn it around starting here because we can't get our upgrades until next turn Hmm. Is it worth merging these just so they don't have one HP? I don't think it is. I think it's worth getting both their attacks off. If I had the money, I'd merge them both and put an elephant at the back, but... Okay. This guy has got a level 2 moth, so the mosquito will be able to kill us. As expected, as always, because everybody has moths, apart from me. Okay. Yeah, brilliant. Okay, down to four lives. Five. Five lives. So two losses from now on and we're out. <laughs> Okay, level two duck. Oh my god, it's done it to me again. I can't not go ahead with this. You know that, right? Look, I have to say yes to the llama. There's the pineapple. We got rid of the mosquito. Okay, I'm going to buy the duck instead. The llama is staying at the back. He's staying there. I don't care. Okay. Nice, that guy's got a llama as well. It's all about llama positioning, man. Just need to get lucky with that llama positioning. Uh, I thought about putting the cucumber on him to give him some HP. Let's get a level 2 bluebird for now. Uh, the rest of this store do be kind of stinky. Okay, do I want a kangaroo? I'm trying to think of better pets like immediately, but they all do actually stink. I'm just going to give the duck a cookie, hoping that we get through these rounds. Let this guy slowly, slowly but surely buff himself to a... A good point although he still can't be a front line so i do need another front line hence why i'm trying to buff this duck as much as i can for example i would happily get rid of the bluebird here right put a monkey there so the monkey would buff a front line pet that isn't the llama but the llama would buff itself then the monkey's kind of like a really bad pet but you just give it like meat attack or something like that nice buff the llama okay i don't want any of those this guy's an interesting one the hatching chick he would make this guy incredibly wham uh, the more I think about this, the more I don't want to feed this guy things. Like, I'd rather feed this to the duck because, once again, we need that front line. This is also where I'm thinking the hatching chick does come into play. Let's sell you. Let's get the hatching chick. Let's give him a meat bone. Uh, I will happily freeze the pair. Let's re-roll another llama. Nice. There's a hippo there. Hippo front line, honestly. Yes, but he's so far behind stats-wise. I actually don't want to take the risk right now. I'd rather buff this duck. And I know it's really bad, but it's the way we're going to play the game. I need two front lines, basically. I need the front line, and then I need the llama. That's ridiculous. He's not going to die. Actually, he'll die to the hatching chick. Okay, yeah, this might, this might work. This actually might work. Uh, we have only got two lives to try it. So if we lose twice, it is all over, which is like a shame. But, you know, it's part of the fun, I guess. Uh, I'm going to give the pair here to, that's right, the duck. This guy only gives a temporary plus five, plus five bonus. He does give a permanent plus two, plus two at level two. But are we going to get there? I don't know. Okay, here we go. Right, he should. Oh, our llama's been hit. Our duck's HP has been lowered. Should be enough to kill the yak, though. Nice. Let's go. Let's go. Okay, that's four trophies. Let's do it. Ooh. Okay, I might, I'm might. i not going to buy the otter and sell it because it's genuinely not worth it. What is worth it, though, is giving this guy a pair. I'm going to give this guy none of that. I'm going to give him a chocolate. Okay. Oh, there's a snake. Is it time to get rid of the bluebird? Put the snake here. 
Oh, it might be, you know. Get rid of the blue bird. Let's get rid of the blue bird now, then. Let's make it early. Let's put the yeah, let's do this. Okay. I'm going to freeze the crow, and I'm going to freeze... Actually, I'm not going to freeze the pear anymore. So, where will the crow chocolate bar be going? You're probably thinking the hatching chick. I would say you're wrong. It's going to go to the snake. Um, I don't really care about the duck getting a permanent buff. The temporary one's good enough if we keep feeding them the way we are. Okay, what's going on? Okay, llama, snake, do your thing. Nice. Nice! Let's go! Let's go! Obviously, there might be a time, future in, future in life, later in life, where a, um, a tiger might show up. But where would we put the tiger? I do not know. Well, that's a level two snake, and then probably I should give it to someone else, shouldn't I, really? Ah, level two snake at least. I don't want to do the hatching chick. I think I want the duck as a, a temporary buff. I'd rather feed the duck. The duck, if we can get the duck meat attack, I'm perfectly fine with this build. I just want him to be there in case there's a big unit at the front he can kill, or there's a scorpion at the front he can sacrifice him for. That's all I want him for. Let's go, snake. Let's go. Let's go. This is it. Okay. Six trophies. Nice one. Nice one. Um, chocolate bar is going to go to the snake. Oh, it's giving me another snake, which guess what that means? This chocolate bar, we're not going to afford it. Probably going to have to go to the snake. I might put the mushroom on the snake just to like stop us getting a draw. I actually don't really care for it. Here's my chance to get a level two hatching chick. I'll do it. I don't think... Oh, I, I think, yeah, we can make up for it, I think. We should defeat him a pair. And then he gets buffed once. And he's basically got a permanent 5-5 like he was getting before, but temporarily. See, he's not strong enough to kill this llama, which is the sad bit. And neither is our hatching chick, which is the sadder bit. And then, yeah, okay, that happens. That's our issue, I guess, is if someone's got that. Okay. Well, I can get a level 3 snake, which I don't think's going to do a lot. There is a boar, which you would be right in saying it's better than literally everyone else here. But we don't have any items for him. Because what I need right now is I need the big... The, the meat attack, right? They also want a pineapple for the snake, actually. So he deals 17 damage. Um, yeah. That's what I need. Okay. This guy's got a llama as well. See, their rat's got meat attack. That's what I need. This guy's playing it the same way I'm playing it. That's a big hippo. Okay, we should survive it. Nice. Nice. Good work, snake. Nice. Let's go. Let's go. Seven trophies. We're on our last two lives here. One loss and we are out. Really? There is a duck. Uh, the duck would give better stats than this. Not the duck, sorry. The monkey would give better stats than this. Um, I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to say no. I'm going to give this to the snake. Chocolate bar here. There's a scorpion. I don't know who I'd give this to, in all fairness. I guess a tiger if you ever got one, but I don't see a tiger around, so... Uh, I'm actually not going to buy it. I'm going to re-roll. I'd really like the meat instead, but maybe we haven't unlocked that yet. I don't know. Where is it? There it is. So, this might be really late to get this now, which would be really sad, but I need that on the duck, and then I need that on the hatching chick. Is the snake going to do well? Is the snake going to get a few hits off of his 17 damage attack? Okay, our duck should get... Oh, there goes Hatching Chick. Okay, our duck will get two kills. There's a bus here, which is going to... There's two buses. Wait, please, snake. Oh, I didn't see that coming. We lose, we lose. We, lo we lost to a Hatching Chick. I thought that was the one. I really did think that was the one. But we know about positioning now, right? Oh, I don't want to customize. I want to go again. We know about positioning. We like it. Okay, honestly, like... Yes, how many more beavers can we get in this town? Um... Yeah, we'll freeze him. Okay, cool. We have three beavers on the board. That's kind of vibey. Um, the, the lazy, the lush snacks. Yeah, man. I'm in, I'm in the mood for some lush snacks right now. To be fair. The soft warriors. Okay. Nice. This is good. This is a draw, but it's okay. We'll take it. Like I said, I quite like draws. Okay. Otters. Let's buy both. Okay, buff both beavers. This now, this guy is now the biggest front line. I'm going to buy this beaver just to add it to the collection. Uh, I'm going to avoid the duck, to be honest. Even though the duck's quite good and we do need to merge the beavers. So maybe that's a bad decision. Maybe just buy items instead if you have the chance. 
Okay, they trade at the start. Nice, they trade again. Nice, they trade again. Nice. But we had two more pets. Okay, meat bone. We know we want one for the bluebird. We're going to want one for the otter as well. We can find any, which we can't. So guess what? A cookie goes to our biggest unit, which is this beaver. I'm just not, I'm not buying any for pets. I don't know why, because I kind of need all those level twos that I can get. But we got a level two beaver confirmed. Almost a level two otter. We can find some... Uh, you can find some bluebirds, maybe level two bluebird as well. Okay, nice. That's a win against Bananas. B A N A N A. Oh, B A N A N S A S. <laughs> okay, uh, let's re-roll. Here we go. We don't want to merge yet. Um, we want to merge next turn when we get everything that we need. I'm gonna re-roll though in case I see anything that I like. Like I want you, and then I guess that's it. Okay, so next turn we merge the beavers and hopefully we can get a level 2 bluebird or otter as well. I hope. Okay, it's a really big dog at the start and we'd have meat attack at the front. So it's going to take two pets to kill him. Okay. Uh, it's a trade. I can live with a trade here. I can ha happily live with a draw there. Keep just in it. We don't lose any life. Still on 10 hearts. Here we go. Uh, level 2 beaver is going to give me a hippo, which guess what? I'm going to take. Uh, we're then going to get a level 2 otter, which I'm not going to take. Um, I want this guy at the front, but he needs a meat bone. There's another little hippo. I mean otter. I don't know why I said hippo. Thinking about who to put on the board next. I don't really use oxes. I'm not a big fan, but maybe a moth could help out the hippo a little bit. I, sw I would like to get hippo really buffed, to be honest. I think that'd be really good. Um, I've kept this guy's level 2 in case I find... Uh, another beaver so then we can get a level 2 beaver and then a level 3 beaver so we have two chances of finding more hippos before we hit tier 4 um, that's what I'm rolling for right now don't find any but we do find a hatching chick which I guess means these guys are getting merged early so I'm sorry about that and we'll buy the hatching chick to sit behind the hippo which will temporarily buff him plus 5 plus 5 which is it's, it's, it's decent you know um but man, am I scared right now, this build. Okay, Mosquito with meat attack. He will not be able to kill the hippo. Nice, hippo heals. Nice, hippo heals. Does die eventually, but he did He did his job. He did well. And that's a win. Okay, nice one. That's three trophies. I'm sad that we have lost one already, but it's okay. Here we are with tier four. There is a llama, and I really do want to go for the llama. I'm going to be 100% honest to everybody here. This is going to give two random friends plus two health, and I'm hoping... It goes to people that I care about. I need to get rid of two people to fit a llama in those, which I'm sure you can guess who that's going to be. So I'm actually going to get rid of the otter. I'm going to buy the llama. Then I'm going to sell the beaver. Give it to the hippo and the llama. Okay, close. We're going to give this to you. We're going to keep the llama at the back again. There's a really early llama. I do actually really like that. If I buy you and then sell you, I'm not going to get enough money back to do what I want to do. But I will do it now anyway. And then we'll freeze the chocolate bar. This will let me get a level 2 llama early. So once again, my strategy here is the llama will buff itself. Okay. Obviously, I need to get a level 2 hippo ASAP. And then probably level 2 hatch and chick to permanently buff the hippo. I think I will take a monkey over hatch and chick if we get one early this time. But we'll see. Oh, there's a bus. Okay. That means our hatch and chick is dead. It does allow our hippo to be buffed a little bit more. Okay, nice. He will die now though. His HP only goes so far, and our llama will eat the bee. Okay, that's good. That's four trophies. Okay, chocolate bar is going to go to the llama. Then we're going to get a crow, who we are going to sell. And I'm going to give a chocolate bar to the hippo. And I'm going to re-roll. And re-roll. Okay, level two bluebird. He will be next to go. I don't know what for, but he needs to go for something, because bluebird... Giving a llama plus one attack isn't a viable reason to stay on my team. We also need a meat bone for the hatching chick and for the llama. Uh, oh god, that's a really big yak. 2020. We're not going to be able to kill him. Okay. Uh, oh, we're still good. Okay, nice one. I got a bit worried there for a second. Okay, I'm thinking we get rid of the bluebird now. We buy the monkey now. This guy's going to start getting some serious buffs, okay? I don't have to freeze you anymore. I could give a pair to someone. It might be the hippo. It's going to be the hippo. Okay. This guy's going to buff himself. These two are going to permanently and temporarily buff. It's a mixture right now. The hippo. Um, I'm terrified. 
Because once again, if the hippo dies to the scorpion, at least we've got the llama in the background, right? But the two pets in the middle are, are really bad. So they need to get some stuff going on, right? They need to get... Oh, look at this hippo go. Look at the hippo go. These guys need to get some items. and Preferably meat attack. But we don't have any of those. I will purchase you. I can buy you, so I may as well. Fact, I'm not even going to freeze you. I will freeze the crow, though, because... What's, what's more important to me right now? Probably a level 2 hippo more than anything. So I'll buy you and sell you. Get a level 2 hippo. Yeah, okay. I would like a level 2 monkey and hatching chick. But I think the hippo comes first. Because that healing ability would be really good. The desolate healers. That's a bigger hippo than us. Wait, no it's not. It's kind of a mixture actually. They trade. There's a scorpion. Okay. <laughs> Melanama might ruin the day. Melanama does ruin the day. Oh man. Okay, we've still got two losses left in us, so I'm going to sell this crow to get a level 2 hippo, okay? Now, all we really... Of course, I should have seen that come in. Now, all I'm thinking is level 2 monkey, I think, is the next thing. Get that hippo buffed a bit faster. Then probably level 2 hatching shit, because that's also a permanent buff. Okay, this is looking... Oh, wait. How much is that? Yeah, skunk the hippo, and then a... Uh, thing at the front. Oh, that's 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 well played. We're on our last life. Yeah. Skunk and then put a crocodile at the front. Okay, well, let's get a hippo. Let's use a chocolate bar on the monkey. A lemon. I'm going to put a lemon on this guy. Oh, I don't know what to do. I really don't know what to do. Okay, the fictive birds. Hippo. Nice. Are we going to win this? Yeah, we should, right? Yeah, okay, nice. We're still in it. We're still in it. That's good. That's seven trophies. Come on, can we please get a win? Okay, there's another monkey, which I will buy. I'm, oh, I'm scared about buying a mushroom or not. Should I do it? Should I get a scorpion? Right now, all I know that is that I want a crow. Who's this going towards? I think it should go towards the hippo. Yeah, I think that's the best thing right now. Okay. But, oh, dude, I need the meat. I need meat attack. That's what's going to win us the game. I don't have it. Like, what am I doing? I, I don't... Mm, okay. Okay, there's a snake involved here. He's level one. Hippo is going to get a few kills, which is really good for us. Nice. Only one snake attack. Oh, the hippo's massive. Okay, that's really good for us. That's eight trophies. So we're two away. Okay, there's the level three hippo. That's massive. There is a snake. And I honestly think this is for the best. We buy a snake. There's steak, which I really want to put on the snake. Okay, the monkey. Ah, oh, monkey's almost level three. Uh, I don't know what to do, bro. This is scary. We've got one life, so we have to do well here. Oh my god, okay. Huge um, yak that we don't kill. We still don't kill. Okay, now we do. I think, yeah, I think we lose. Yeah. Bruh. Bruh. Maybe if I, had, if I had the hatching chick, I think this guy would have killed the other guy. Oh, man, that really hurts. I enjoyed that, though. This is definitely the setup, I think, with the llama at the back. He put the front. If we are lucky enough to get them both pretty early on. Um, we've got, what, two more days after this to try and get a llama win? So I'm hoping we can do it. Uh, I'm going to have to read some comments and get some tips from you guys and how you guys got your llama wins because I suck. Uh, but that will be it for today. So thank you very much for watching. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe. We're almost at 20k. Uh, we've gone at 300 subs. Just started posting again. So I'm very grateful for all of you new guys that are coming by and keeping up with me and my videos. I can't thank you enough. Um, but yeah, that's it for today. So carry on doing the usual YouTube stuff. And I'll see you again tomorrow. Goodbye.